Well, the chickens are super happy in here. They're getting nice and big and fat. Uh, we still got another month or so until we start getting eggs. Well, they saw me walk over. They think they're going to get snacks. <laughs> they are pretty happy birds. I made their coop out of old five-quarter boards we bought for a deck project that we decided to do differently then we ended up having a lot of lumber left over so thought I'd just go ahead and repurpose it the roofing is rubber material that was already on the property when we bought this place not really sure what it's for or what it's from but they were big sheets approximately 20 foot by 20 foot so I just cut it and stuck it up there and it works good and the nesting box there on the side underneath the rubber there's old door hinges that we had and that's what the the roof on that part works uh, this little hatch on the side I put that hardware cloth inside there as sort of a vent for them and I can take it off to clean it out and stick a, a rake or a hoe up in there and drag everything out into a wheelbarrow but I didn't take into consideration that the boards on the back side of the door when it swings down is going to hit that. So, that'll have to be a modification. There's a little bucket there down below that's got the nipples, the chicken nipples underneath of it. Right there, if it'll focus. But those are what the chickens get their water from. I fill up the bucket and then they go peck on those. There's two of them on that bucket there. And that works pretty good. Uh, so far they're okay. I fill up a water jug inside the coop at night and it's still full in the morning or you can see that they've drank some but they're not starving for water. So they're drinking that through the day. This is the old garden that we had. As I mentioned it's uh we're gonna rotate the chickens back and forth. You know they're they're pretty happy. All our scraps go in there that are no meat products or cheese or anything, no dairy. And uh, the chickens are liking that. It's kind of cutting into our, our compost pile though. <laughs> the chickens are eating everything. These little solar lights are pretty handy. They charge up through the day with that little solar panel on top. And when it gets a certain darkness, I guess, uh, they glow. Real low luminescence, I guess, or something. Big words. But when something walks in front of that little eyeball, they turn on pretty bright. And they stay on, uh, let's say for 30 seconds, I think. And then they kick back down to just a low glow. It was kind of nice to know that the batteries are charged because you could look out at any time of the night and see that both of these are on. So far, I've just been using this little metal trash can that we got from Tractor Supply to keep their feed in. It's working out pretty good so far. Although, it is sitting right on the ground. It was sitting on the boards down there, but I don't know if the chickens are walking it around or maybe when my wife's getting into it, it's bumping around or something, but I don't want the bottom of that to rust out, which it eventually will. So something will have to be done with that. Also, I do want to put a different watering system underneath, but that's, that's a later day thing.